Back in 1957, when the Russians put up Sputnik, the story went around in Schenectady that uh, there was a man who said that every time the Sputnik went over, his garage door went up. So everybody uh, uh, wanted to find out what the real story was. So a lot of people called Roy Anderson, who had all kinds of technical equipment up in the Rotterdam Hills, Crawford Hill, was it? Well, we didn't have the equipment at that time, uh, but we were interested in Sputnik, so we took some equipment to the garage and we listened to hear the, uh, see if the garage door opened when Sputnik went over. I think I went to that same garage with a, with a cameraman yes. to see if the garage door would go up. It did not, but the man who owned that garage uh, had said that when on a national television program, I've got a secret, <laughs> and that was his secret, <laughs> that, the, that the garage door opened. When you first heard that, what did you think? Well, there was great excitement in uh, uh, Schenectady at the time. And, of course, we had started uh, doing a little satellite tracking out in the farmer's field with some equipment left over from a previous uh, radio direction finder development. And uh, we there uh, tracked satellites for uh, 48 hours after each new launch for the North American Air Defense Command and Air Force Cambridge Research Center. And then we decided that greater things should be done, so we set up a, the setup on the top of Crawford Hill, which uh, in 1959. I can remember going up there doing a story, and what was, I don't remember the details, but what was, what was going on up there? Well, our interests were to develop techniques for position location using satellites, and communication by satellite. And uh, these were at the time when satellites were very small and uh, uh, electronic equipment was big. Fortunately, over the years that has reversed and satellites have gotten big and electronic small. So there was uh, limited things we can do, but we did some really marvelous things, I think, with the uh, using NASA's application technology satellites and uh, developing techniques for uh, position location in two modes. Uh, one mode we called the surveillance mode, which in which we interrogated an airplane, a ship, or an automobile through one satellite got signals back from that vehicle and could immediately tell the vehicle where it was. Was your hope at that time to develop something that we now know as GPS? Well, yes. One uh, mode of operation was uh, what we called the navigation mode in which the uh, satellite, in which the uh, navigator could listen to the two satellites and determine his own position. We proposed, uh, I proposed uh, a plan which had 24 satellites in a particular satellite orbit arrangement, which is very much like the one much later adopted by GPS. That's the Edison Tech Center presents Tech Reflections, an oral history which preserves stories about engineers, artists, and technicians. Their lives, achievements, and designs as told by the people who knew them or in their own words.